どけであります。どけどけであります。All right, what's up, everyone? Gids here for another Summoner Spark Chronicles video, and today another monster review for the Wind Beetle Knight, Sir Action. Okay, Sir Action is one of the premium tanks that Kina players should be using. Well, not really just Kina players, but a premium tank overall. And the reason why is, of course, with the skills that he has. Of course. The first ability here is just the basic build or basic attack, so you don't really need to think about it so much. Skill one is an interesting one. So it's an airborne ability. So 62% rate of knocking or putting enemies into airborne. So that's a disable, and this one scales off defense. So if you have a lot of defense plus some attack, this skill can actually deal a lot of damage. Plus it's only a three mana cost skill. Plus, if the enemy has electric shock, you can actually silence them for 12 seconds. So, which is very, very interesting. Very good skill to actually time correctly once your enemies get electric shock. Okay. And then skill 2 here is very good as well. So, it gives you defense up. Generic tank skill. Right? Level 2 defense up plus provoke. 82% rate of provoke, which is a lot. But you might still need some accuracy on this guy and then the thing that makes him shine the passive is over here so immune to provoke he can never be provoked but sometimes the ai is crazy because he gets stuck on front lines enemy front lines and sometimes he misses his provoke on skill 2 a lot but yeah that's not a skill diff anymore <laughs> anyways this one is a reflect damage so whenever this guy gets attacked he's actually reflecting damage back to your enemy so giving him a lot of defense is actually going to deal a lot of damage over time to your enemies especially when you keep the provokes up okay and then there's also a 60 percent rate of replacing death up with death down so interesting here a very good counter to Teor and also aerial and 60 percent rate of electric shock so if you were wondering where you can get the electric shock for his skill one it's the passive Right, so you want him to get hit by enemies all the time. Yeah, you want your enemies to be focusing him all the time. All right. For his ultimate, I'm pretty bummed out by this ultimate because it's very bad. I don't know why this is an ultimate skill because it's so bad. Level 1 defense up, like it's not even on par with his skill 2. Right? Skill 2 is level 2 defense up. Provoke rate 45%. Provoke rate on your skill 2 is 82%. And then recover HP. Sure, you're getting healing, but dude, come on. <laughs> Although you can see here from the description, it provokes enemies within the area every second within a certain chance. So it's a lesser provoke chance, but the ultimate actually lasts for a few seconds. I don't remember how long, but there's going to be an arena, right? A shield arena that he puts down that will keep provoking enemies but still it's a bit lackluster but still i mean the whole kit is really good that's why we can pass up on the ultimate just this passive right here is already really really good and that's the reason why you want to build this guy now let's check out my monster build right here so this is my sir Action right now rage blade of course the only runes that i know are rage and blade <laughs> Okay, you can see here, defense is 5,900 with 49k HP as well. So very tanky Sir Acteon right here with 69% crit rate. Nice. And 145% crit damage. 55% accuracy is not bad, but I think he needs more for sure. And resistance at 50%. Okay, so for the runes, it's defense, defense, defense. And you can see here, actually, I've, I've been using a lot of crit rate um, effect stones because some of the runes are not that good right some of the runes that he has are not the best but they are definitely usable and he's lacking a lot of crit rate since i want to deal a little bit more damage for the whole team really like i want to maximize damage from each of my monsters as a kina player because my kina equipment is so bad <laughs> okay so these are the stats those are the runes and Currently, he is now awake 14 for me. That's why he is at 120k 
power. I actually got the Awake 14 from Exchange, so really good to roll for Exchange if you have targeted monsters that you really want to upgrade. Of course, max evolved and max level for sure. Now for the book level, okay, we are at book we are at book level three, which gives us defense plus 221 and accuracy by 8.5 percent, which is a lot, huge, and we need that defense. We need that accuracy. Okay, so enjoy some gameplay with this guy, level 66 Orbia. Although cooldown reduction from fire is also still really good. Ah, uh, surprise him with this. I think it's still this. Ah, Espino ban. Is he gonna kill anything with this Argen though? We will see. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, we're too occupied with this tank. Nice. Nice targeting. Wait, he's getting too much heals. Oh shoot, my beetle is dead. He's getting too much heals with this. Nice, he killed it. Haha, <laughs> everything is back, boy. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm gonna die. Can we kill this Bastet? <laughs> Wait! He deals so much damage! Okay, we silence the healer. Silence the healer. Can, can we kill it already? Nice, okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah, they're back. Oh, wait, they are not back. No one is back. They're on cooldown. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Fuck, I'm in danger. Can my Beetle Knight please come back? No, I missed! No! I missed! Haha! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that was a hard fight, but we still win. Long game, we still win because we have a dark weapon. Dark weapon is open. <laughs> okay, they ban. They ban the thing. Garo again. Ah, uh, another Argen right here. And then Shushu. Do I actually want to pick Espino? Sure. Oh. Huh. How do I kill the Argon, right? I think it's another, it's an Argon problem again. Eh, fuck it. 
Oh, he actually banned Sargon. Okay. At least he eliminated my problem for me. This Garo though. Actually, how do I kill the Garo now? Is the Garo dead? Yeah. <laughs> Garo is dead. Oh, this guy has, does not have good monsters. You're probably not ruined that well. <laughs> you think I have no damage? I have a lot. Ooh, we're able to beat him. I mean, I don't know who he focused though. He was not killing anything. <laughs> Who do you kill anyway in this kind of comp? You're not gonna kill anyone really. Okay, good monsters to pair up with this guy. Again, you always want to have the balance of support, DPS, and tank. So as a tank monster, you want another support or DPS. So you want for fire, you have fire ifrit, you have fire oracle. Kraktan could also work as a secondary DPS. Genos and Atomic Samurai. I mean, all the collab monsters are really good for DPS. For the water monsters that you can pair up with him, I personally use Espino, Galleon as a secondary support, um, Water Ifrit is also really good. And of course, Teor. He not only counters Teor but he also is a good pair with Teor because of the defense buffs that they both give to each other. And then Musa as well as a good uh, support. We have Garo and Silver Fang as good DPS monsters to pair with him. And Water Hell Lady as her uses. When it comes to wind, again, we want support and DPS. So, uh, wind hell lady, really good. Wind monkey king is also really good. And wind panda warrior is actually surprisingly good with him as well. Because of the water meta right now. Again, if you want to go with Argen, Argen very squishy. Wind magic knight as well uh, is kind of okay. Right? Not gonna talk about LD because I'm salty. Let's move on to the ratings. Have I added a rating here already? Oh, I already gave a rating. Where is my rating? Oh, it's up here. Okay. OP Beetle for PvP. I use it every time. <laughs> Man. But he actually is a very, very strong DPS or tank monster. Again, he's a good counter to monsters like Teor that puts up their own defense buffs and even Ariel sometimes. But, you know. It's a very strong monster, very strong tank. He is very beefy and does not die easily. Plus, also another bonus is that he is a wind monster against the water meta right now, wherein we see a lot of Galleon, Teor, Ariel, Wusa, Garo, all those kinds of monsters. That's a lot of water monsters, so having a wind tank can actually prolong the battles a lot. Okay, so for Brawl PvP, I'd give this guy a 4 out of 5, not 5 out of 5 because sometimes he's still... The AI is just wonky on this guy sometimes. And the uh, rates on the skills most of the time does not hit as well. So those are the only things that I don't like. But he is still a very very solid monster as a tank for the whole team. Okay. Uh, when it comes to PvE, there's nothing much for him to really do for PvE, so 2 out of 5. And for Battlefield, for Battlefield, there's not much for him to do there as well, so 2 out of 5 for Battlefield. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below, and like if this video helps you decide if you want to build Sir Acteon or not. And of course, subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you very much for watching, see you again next time.